it's Mr. McTaco and welcome back to another video. Today I'm making this video to show you guys how to find the secret elevator in the new update of Jupiter's Towers of Heck. Now uh, you might have already known about this, I think more videos are starting to come out about it, um, but there was recently a new update that in introduced a secret elevator that leads to the past um, holiday events so you can replay the towers. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. It's a little bit of a process, so before we start, please like and subscribe, because why not? And I'm just on my alt account right now, because I already did it on my main account. So we're just going to do it real quick. And the first place you're going to want to go is the Tower of Heck. This is um, going to be a place we visit a couple times, because a few of the things you're going to need for this is found here. So when you join in, you're going to want to stay on the bottom floor. Um, directly opposite the window, you may have or may not have known about this, is a secret meme room right here. Look at this. And right over here on the side, here's the entrance. Right on the side, you're going to see this brick. And you're going to be, you're going to need to do a corner wall clip. Um, so you're going to need to know how to do that. Basically, you kind of just walk into the corner and... You know, go into first person or press shift lock a couple times, and eventually, after a couple of tries, um, you're going to be able to actually warp through the block just like that. So now we're on the outside, and right under this tree, you're going to want to click this. Okay, so it says to go to the vending machine, so you can now reset your character. Once you've done that, I'll just close the chat real quick. And you're going to want to go over to the viewing area um, in the main hub. Um, right over here to the vending machine. And when you're here, you're going to want to press this button up at the top corner. So just press that. And it says, uh, second secret found, Rage is crooked. So that's, of course, talking about the Tower of Rage portal. So you're going to want to come back over to the towers area, uh, to the advanced towers and all the way over to the Tower of Rage. As you can see, it's a little bit crooked, so just click on the name tag and see Tower of Rage outside the frame. So we're going to hop in here. You don't need to do any of this. Uh, it might be hard for some people, so all you got to do is come over to here on the first floor, and you're going to want to do another one of these corner clips. So again, just kind of look into the corner. Keep trying uh, until you get through. Um, it may take a couple tries. Uh, but just keep zooming in and clicking it until you get through. There we go. And once you're outside, you're going to see this sort of translucent block here. Just click on that. And now we have to do a little bit of a uh, scavenger hunt. So you're going to want to reset your character once again, just to go back to the hub. And there's going to be about 15 or 16 imperfections that we need to find. So I'm going to show you where all those are really quickly. You're going to want to look for these little white squares. So there's one back here um, behind this pot right by the cat therapy door. So you, that, there's one. So yes, there's 15 of them. So I don't believe there's any in the cat therapy area. So next we'll go to the, um, the viewing lounge. There's one here under this chair. And there's also one on the back of the vending machine. Next, you're going to want to come over to the towers area. Ooh. And you're going to find one right here. Near the hint legend. On the back of the Tower of Madness uh, sign here. One right on the side of the Tower of Madness portal. There's none in here uh, or here. But there is uh, two in the Citadel room. There's one right there on the wall, and there's also one right next to the Citadel entrance. I don't believe this... Oh, wait, there is one. Right next to the uh, Tower of Impossible Expectations door, there's a one right there. I believe that's it for here. There's a few in the credits room, so we'll go there next. So most of the ones in here are going to be behind people, 
So as you can see, there's one right here on Jupiter's, right behind MR. Uh, there's one on the little podium. Um, and then there's also one right on the fountain right there. So there's only four left. I believe they're all outside. So next we're going to go outside. So the first one is going to be passed over here, right below the edge of the map. You can see right there. Just click on that. Next we're going to make our way around the outside. There's one in the pit of die, so you can click on that one. And then you're going to want to go around to the other side. And there's going to be, the last two are going to be over here. And the first one is going to be right on the back of this guy's newspaper. So you can click that. There's only one left now. And you can already see it, it's over there. So let's just click that one. There we go. So as you can see, it says we need to go to the tower effect for the remaining imperfections. Uh, and this is going to be about eight uh, imperfections um, spread out across the first six floors. So you're kind of going to need to be able to do the tower effect um, at least a little bit in order to get to the sixth floor. Um, so we're going to go there now. Let's go to the tower effect, of course, in intermediate towers. Okay, so there's about there's always at least one um, on each floor, I believe. The first floor only has one. So there it was. You're going to want to make your way up um, to the second floor. Once you get to the second floor, you can already see the one here. You got to hop up a little bit so you can reach it. There's a second one. So you're going to want to make your way through this floor as well. The third floor is going to have one as well. Um, and then the yellow floor actually has two, along with the blue floor, which has two as well. So we're going to go down here. And just make our way up to the third floor. So the third floor one, I gotta remember where this is. Also, if you're doing this on your own, uh, when I was doing finding the buttons for this floor, I kind of just looked around like this. Um, so they're pretty easy to find. As you can see, there's the one for floor three right at the end there, and then floor two is going to have two. So we're just gonna make our way up here. There it is. So you're going to want to go over here and click on that. There you go, five left. You can see the first one in floor four is going to be right under this platform. And then the other one is going to be over there. So you're going to want to make our way over there. We are. Click that one. Only three left now. Um, almost done. I believe this is the last portion to unlock the secret elevator. So again, you're just going to want to make your way up on floor five now. I believe the one for floor five is going to be on the back of one of these little truss walls. So you're just going to want to look out for that. I believe it's going to be that one there. So we're going to have to make our way over there. Okay, so here we are now. Uh, just make your way up here, drop down, and yep, there it is. Click on that. Almost done now, only two left. So we'll just hop over these to get to the sixth floor. 
on the last floor. The sixth, the sixth floor can have some uh, little things that may trip you up. Just be aware that these are falling platforms. Uh, so you want to want to watch out for those. Going over here, uh, just FYI, this is a moving conveyor onto some falling platforms. So you're going to want to watch out for that as well. Um, and then the next one's going to be right over here, down there. So we only have one left. It's going to be also on this floor as well. So you're going to want to make sure to watch out for those falling platforms. And I believe the last one is going to be on the outside section of this floor. So we're going to want to make our way over there now. Just jumping across these. Making sure not to fall. And it's going to be right over here on this platform. There we go. Check the credits room. And you see we got the badge. Unlock the elevator button. So that's all you have to do. Uh, if you want, if you haven't finished it and you already gotten this far, you're welcome to try and get it to the top of the tower heck. But I'm just going to reset oh. it to show you the elevator button. So once you reset, it's going to be in the credits area. And as you see right there, what's that? That's new. I want to press this button, and look at this. The elevator will rise up from the floor, bringing you to the secret area. So as you can see, just press zero to get down there. Music actually changes, so that's pretty cool. And here we are in a cave underneath the main hub. As you can see right now, there are five of the past events. Um, and just just so you know, these will not give you the items. If you complete them, they're just uh, to revisit them. And then you can even see over here the next event that's going to be coming up in uh, Halloween 2020. And eventually this portal will light as well. So uh, I'm pretty sure this is probably going to get updated uh, in the future with all the upcoming events. Um, and this is sort of just like a Hall of Fame for all the old events. So... If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, um, please like if you did so others can see it as well. Um, enjoy the event worlds. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. It's been Mr. Mike Taco, and I'm out.